by your grace so free Only
for the Messianic believers faithful remnant of Israel for friends and family whose sons and daughters 
or in the IDF, even now, the front lines. We ask the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you, give you peace. We're asking right now for your people, the Messianic believers across the land right now, tonight, this morning, we're asking for family members, friends, sons and daughters, mobilizing and mobilized for war. We're asking for those in difficult, unstable, uncertain situations. We're asking that you would bless, that you would keep. Lord, that you would make your face shine upon your people. That the light of your countenance would break in upon each one. We're asking for the release a wall of fire. We're asking for sovereign protection and blessing. We're asking for supernatural testimonies where you yourself stood between your people in harm's way. God, we're asking for the light of your favor, your protection, your blessing in the midst of the darkness and the fear that there'd be a shining forth of who you are, not just on your people, but through them. We're asking that this would be the finest hour for your gospel, for your good news, as it shines forth from your people, from their very lives and testimonies, from their lips as they proclaim it. God, I'm asking that you would spark critical conversations under pressure even now with unbelieving, lost and broken people. God, that your face would shine on your people in such a manner that your son, his name, would be great and glorified in the midst of the pressure and the trial. That your favor and blessing would be a glorious witness, a beautiful witness of who you are in the midst of the chaos in the midst of the darkness and the wickedness, that who you are, your very heart, would shine through, that it would shine through upon and through your people, that it would shine through opportune moments, testimonies, that your glory would break in, that your supernatural might and power, like fire, would break in, critical situations and moments we ask second thessalonians chapter three that your word would run swiftly and be glorified that your gospel that the name of your son that yeshua would be proclaimed throughout the land god we're asking for believers underground believers in the midst of the chaos and the darkness even within gaza God, we're asking that you would set up, that you would orchestrate key moments for whole families to hear the goodness of Yeshua, to hear the goodness of you, your tenderness, your mercy, your graciousness, that your light would shine forth even in the midst of the trouble and the shaking in Gaza. We're asking that your light would shine forth through Palestinians, Arabs who love your name, who love your son, that suddenly there'd be moments where your name would break through, where your power, your glory, and your beauty would pierce the darkness, would cut hearts in two, and that suddenly, in unexpected ways, in unexpected moments, many would bow down and be saved. Many would tremble at your word, that many would turn to you and call upon your name and be saved. We're asking far greater than the testimonies of wickedness that are filling the air. God, we're asking for a sudden wave 
of testimonies of the gospel, the glory, the power of your spirit, and the name of your son. We're asking that suddenly you would fill the air, that you would fill conversations, fill homes. For those that are even escaping now, that you would fill their conversations in huddled whispers. Suddenly, the light of the gospel would break through. We're asking for the helpless and the powerless. We're asking for children who are alone, the lonely and the desperate. God, we're asking for those that seem to have no hope, that seem to have no way out or forward, that suddenly you would dispatch angels, that suddenly men would show up, angelic beings would show up in the midst of the chaos and guide and lead and speak to children. And guide and lead and speak to the elderly, to the weak, to the broken, to the ones that have no way out apart from your divine inbreaking power through your spirit and through angels. We're asking that you would lead different ones to your son and to a place of safety, that testimonies of your provision, testimonies of your supernatural help, testimonies of your supernatural protection would fill the land from the north to the south. God, we're asking for Arab and Jew alike. We're asking for those in need that suddenly their hearts would be awakened to call out to you amongst all the options. God, I'm asking for a young Muslim boy suddenly that the idea would come to him in darkness, that the idea would come to him in desperation to call out to you, to call out to the God of Israel, to call out to Yeshua, and suddenly you would break in with power. Even now we're asking deliverance for young children, deliverance from the hands of wicked men, deliverance from the hands of evil men with evil plans, that they would be delivered into your hands that they would be delivered into your future and your glory and your destiny. God, we're asking that you would shift the tide of where their story's going, that even now they would be shifted into the kingdom, shifted into your glory and your name. Life with you, we're asking that you would break in. In the name of Jesus, cause your face to shine. Shine the light of your countenance on your people even now, O Lord. Lord, thunder from heaven. You are not silent. God of Abraham, God of Isaac. You are not passive. Thunder from heaven. Thunder from heaven. But this is who you are, the deliverer. And be glorified. Merciful one. You're the God. The powerless, the hopeless, and the helpless. With one word. Call them by name. Speak right to their hearts. With one word, you break open those hearts. Awaken, stir them to You're call the unto you. Who changes the story. You're the God who changes the stories. Confirm your testimony. Confirm your testimony. Confirm your testimony. You're the specifically for friends and family members and believers, Messianic believers whose children, whose sons and daughters 
or in the IDF or right now. God, I'm asking, in the midst of deployment, in the midst of peril, in the midst of threat, God, would you preserve, would you protect, would you favor them? God, would you shine your light on them that it would be evident that your hand is upon their lives, upon their hearts. God, would you put a spirit of might and increase it within them right now. Increase a spirit of might on the inside that there would be a grace released upon them, that there would be a power from your hand on their lives. God, that it would be a bold and clear and beautiful witness to other Israelis around them. We're asking on the front lines, in the battle, in the firefight, God, we're asking that you would have your hand, that you would shine the light of your countenance upon them in those moments, that there'd be a diverting, a deflecting of harm, that there'd be a diverting of the evil one, of the, of the enemy's plans and purposes that wicked men would suddenly not have their way as you break in with light and glory and favor in those moments. God, that you would do it, that you do it because we asked, because we prayed even now tonight, because we leaned in. You love to answer specifically those kinds of prayers. You love to move in those key moments because we asked. And so we're asking as your intercessors, we're asking as the ones you set here, we're asking for those key moments of protection and deliverance from the evil one. We're asking for those that breathe wicked threats that suddenly there'd be a diversion, that suddenly there'd be a diverting and a movement of power by your spirit that suddenly turns the situation that you would be glorified in it, that it wouldn't be a mystery, that there wouldn't be confusion as to who's behind it. God, I'm asking that there would be clear and evident testimonies of the God of Israel, His Son Yeshua, the power of the Spirit, that it would be clear that you are in the midst, that it would be known, that it would be spoken, that it would be declared, that it would be testified, that atheists would tremble, that atheists would weep, that the ones that have turned away or turned aside would suddenly break by the power of the Spirit and call on your name. We're asking for salvation after salvation. God, you did it in Ukraine. Do it there. Do it tonight. Do it now. We're asking in the name of Jesus. Break hearts open for the gospel of your Son in Jesus' name. Amongst your people, be their covering, anoint them, shield that you are in their midst, anoint them.
Isaiah 33. For Israel, O oh Lord, be gracious to us. Be their arm every morning. Our salvation in a time of trouble. In verse 6, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of your times and the strength of salvation. Verse 17, your eyes will see the king in his beauty. Lord, here we are, we stand before you. God, we lift our voices with confidence. God, as we peer into your holy heart. God, as we join the very groanings of your heart, the one who will not relent, the one who is zealous for Zion with great zeal. God, we join you in the groanings of your heart of your heart, we take our place as intercessors, partnering with you with the very desires of your heart. We say, oh God, we agree. We say, oh God, we love what burns in your heart. We say our desire is your desire. What you desire, we desire. What you cry out for, we cry out for. God, we lift these wants. We lift to you Jerusalem, Gaza. We lift to, your, to you, your people, Israel. We're saying, be gracious, O oh God. We're asking in a time of trouble that you would be gracious and show your salvation. Lord, you are the God of all comfort, the God of all peace. And Lord, we lift to you these wants. We lift our voice on behalf of those, those that have no voice, those that are poor and needy, those that are alone, those that are terrified and anxious. God, we bring to you these children that have been taken. God, we bring to you their hearts that are trembling in fear and terror. God, we bring to you parents, mothers, fathers, that have lost their children. We bring to you the elderly, God, the weak, God, the needy. We lift our voice on their behalf and we cry out for preservation. We cry out for protection. We ask, oh God, be gracious. You who fashioned and formed the human heart, you who know how to still the anxieties, you who know how to bring comfort the time of trouble, God, would you bring comfort? Oh God, be gracious. Oh God, be gracious, we pray. Lord, we ask, God of all comfort, be gracious. Shepherd of Israel, show yourself as the one who leads tenderly, as the one who calms the anxiety, the fear, the terror. Show them your love. Show them your mercy, O oh God. We ask, O oh God, for the wisdom and knowledge that is the stability of the human heart. We're asking for the light of the knowledge of the glory of God to go forth, to break forth in a dark hour. God, in the time of trouble, we're asking for the stabilizing that comes through the knowledge of God, the wisdom and stability that lays hold of the human heart. God, I ask for impartations of light across unbelievers' hearts. I'm asking for the light of the knowledge of the glory of God to break forth and to shatter and scatter darkness and unbelief with the light of the knowledge of God. God, I'm asking you who said your eyes will see the King in his beauty. I ask that that beauty would break forth over hearts. Lord, I ask that you would bring forth out of your church, believing Arabs, believing Jewish hearts and proclaimers. I'm asking that you would put it in their mouths, that you would put in their mouths the proclamation of the beauty of the Lord, the proclamation of the King in his glory. God, that the glorious gospel would go forth in the time of trouble, that salvation would break forth in the dark night. God, as you have always
always done throughout all human history. When you set yourself on display and you break forth in a dark night with light and you come in your zeal and your jealousy with your strong arm. God, we're asking, be their strong arm. Every morning, show your salvation to them. God, reveal the King in His beauty, Father of glory. We pull upon those holy desires in your heart. God, we're asking, what do you desire more than to put your son on display? God, in the midst of Jerusalem, in the midst of Gaza, in the midst of fighting and turmoil and terror and hiding, in the midst of hunger and thirst, Father, would you put your son, the King, put him forth in his glory, in his beauty, let it be the stabilizing of the human heart. We're asking in the name of Jesus for the stabilizing knowledge of the glory of God, for the stabilizing beauty of the King to break forth like light in the darkness, even tonight, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Our God, gracious, shine your face upon us. Be gracious, oh God. You not be compassionate. Show compassion. We lift our voice. Will you not turn your heart to your first For those who have no voice, be gracious. God, be gracious. We cry out. Comfort. Hide them. In the day of trouble, hide them in your glory. See the king in his beauty. Hide the men in glory in the day of trouble. Let them see your beauty in the day. In a time of trouble, oh God, break forth with light. Let them see. solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Christ all throughout the land of Israel. Messianic believers, Arab believers, our souls are downcast and greatly troubled as we stand with them. And therefore, we remember you tonight. Of all the things that our souls would conjure us for us to remember, we remember you. And Lord, we ask for each and every believer, Arab, Messianic, Lord, we ask for the ability by the grace and the gift of God to remember you. Lord, we pray from the deep, the deep, troubled, downcast, troubled souls as we stand with them from our deep and their deep. We call out to the deep of your heart. 
as you stand in leadership orchestrating these breakers as their hearts are hit with breaker after breaker of trouble you who move territories and the lines of bound the boundary lines of nations and territories to do that which we wouldn't do apart from these types of situations that men would grope for you god we're groping lord we ask this prayer tonight lord as even the the deep of the night begins in the next minutes and hours to become the time of dawn in israel lord we ask that you would command tonight command your loving kindness your steadfast love god has said of god in the morning lord we pray that your song would be sung that you yourself jesus would sing and that their ears would hear your song sung over them in this deep of night and that it would become a prayer that their prayers would join in your song and that that loving kindness and the steadfast love of god would break forth this morning and lord we ask specifically we ask specifically that the way in which you overcame in your hour and day of trouble and your suffering jesus would be the source and the song and the strength for our brothers and sisters to overcome the billows and the waves crashing over them lord that they would overcome by the blood of the lamb that they would overcome by the word of their testimony that they would overcome by the miracle, a miracle of not loving their lives. Palestinian and Arab believers not loving their lives unto laying their lives down for unbelievers, for messianic believers. Lord, we ask you for the working in this night that there would be a breaking in in this dawn that's on the horizon of miracles of love that you would mobilize your body that incarnate beauty of christ incarnate in your body that you would mobilize believers in a full manner of ways that you would mobilize incarnate love has said love that type of steadfast love that is better than life that is better than actually living and that our brothers and sisters in all the different ways that you call them to would rest in knowing that your steadfast love is better than life and their portion and their inheritance is secure lord i ask you in the name of jesus that you would command loving kindness at the breaking of this dawn and that you would allow our brothers and sisters to be the embodiment of cruciform sacrificial love in a way that's only given by the spirit in jesus name hear let them hear your song tonight that it would become their prayer
sing songs of the land. Let them pick up their harps that they have hung. Let them sing again the songs of the Lamb. The songs of the Lamb.
Yes, I love you. I love you. Jesus, I love you. I love you. Jesus, I love you. I love you. I love you. Jesus, I love you. I love you. I love you. Jesus, I love you. I love you. I love you. Jesus, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I really do love you. We behold you tonight, Lord. beholding your beauty beholding your heart oh let us care for what you care for let us love what you love show us more of how you love your people God Oh, spirit of wisdom and revelation, come as we behold you, as we behold you. Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you. Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you. Jesus, I love you, I love you. I love you, Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh, daughters of Zion, oh, Abraham's son. Hear the words of your Father. Hear his promise of love. I will make you a blessing. Count the stars if you can. You will be a great nation. I will give you this land I will bring you back home I'll bring you back home Oh my children You will no longer roam Lost and alone in the night There is nothing Though you've wandered like strangers Through the ends of the earth I will send you a savior I will finish my work You have no other shepherd Pastures are waiting in Zion once more. I will bring you back home, I'll bring you back home, oh my. 
daughters were sons of Abraham I will wash you with water I will offer the lamb though your sins were like scarlet they'll be whiter than snow I have always been with you. I will never let go. is 
everlasting love. He has loved you with an everlasting love. Oh, his longing is for you. His longing is for you. His longing is for you. So come home, come home. His longing is for you. His longing.
science sake for your name's sake we will not rest or be silent until jerusalem's eternal light will shine with your salvation oh for zion's sake for your name's sake we will not rest or be silent until Jerusalem's eternal life will shine.
Psalm 124. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Let Israel declare this morning in the land, our help is in the name of the Lord. You are the God who made heaven and earth. You are the God who made covenant with your people, Israel. You are the God who is filled with compassion and mercy. So we appeal to you, the God of the covenant, with your people, the God of mercy. We appeal to you, Abba, Father. And God, we ask you that this morning in the land, that you would be a very present help in their time of trouble. God, that you would hide them under the shelter of your wings, that you would be the God who says, be still and know that I am God. God, we cry out tonight for deliverance for your people in the land. We cry out for Arabs. We cry out for Jews tonight. God, that those who call upon your name, that they would be safe, that they would be hidden. God, that you would strengthen them with your very might on the inside and that their confidence would grow and increase in you because you are their God. God, we ask you, we ask you for escapes from death tonight, God, this morning in the land, escapes from death. God, we ask you for you to take charge, captain of the host. Would you break in with mighty deliverance for your people in your land, those covenant, those who are covenanted to you. God, you said that they would forever be your people. You said that you would forever be their God. So God, we cry out for the manifestation of the covenant tonight, this morning in the land. God, that many would look to you and find strength, that many would look to you and find escapes from death. God, we ask you to quell this war. We ask you to stop this war. God, we cry out for a speedy end to this war. You do not take pleasure when the wicked man dies. So God, would you break in? Would you turn hearts to you? Would you break in with living understanding? Would you cause souls to be saved? Would you cause lives to be pre preserved? God, we look to you, commander of the hosts of heaven. Take charge, send your angels, dispatch your angels today to deliver your beloved ones, God, we ask you, we ask you for mercy. We ask you for healing. We ask you for comfort. God, we ask you for wisdom. Would you raise up that Daniel generation? God, would you put your anointing upon many in the land, even in the IDF? This morning, God, those young men, those young women, 
who call you Yeshua. God, would you give them understanding? Would you give them your strategy? Would you anoint the words in their mouths? That they would instruct the many in this hour of war. That there, there would be many who understand who you are and what you are doing. That there would be many gain wisdom and instruction from your wise ones in the land. So come God, come and release your Holy Spirit. Come and deliver, come and save souls and bring a speedy end to this war in Jesus' name. Release your strategies. Let your enemies be scattered. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. You won't hand your people over. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. You will save Israel. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. You won't hand your people over. Blessed be God, 
Would you end this war speedily? In Jesus' name. Shout, shalom. Peace is over you. Shout, shalom over the land. Then shoot, spread your wings over the world. Stretch out your hand to heal. Stretch out your hand to the believer. Stretch out your Deliver your people, oh God. Sing songs over Israel. Songs of deliverance. Sing songs over Israel. Songs of deliverance. In the day and the night. against the wrath of my enemies and your right hand will save me the Lord will perfect or accomplish complete that which concerns me your mercy O Lord endures forever do not forsake the work of your hands Lord we stand as Israel is in the midst of trouble and Lord we cry out for your mercy 
Lord, we pray today that where the enemy is seeking to stir up a preemptive third world war, that you would come and bind that spirit. Lord, we ask that you would come with your righteous right arm, that you would come, Lord, and not allow the things that have been determined by forces of darkness to prevail. Lord, we cry out for your mercy. We cry out, O oh Lord, that you would hear the sound of the global church arising. Lord, let the watchmen on the wall arise like never before. God, we cry out even now for the IDF. God, we pray protection. We cry out on these young 20-year-olds, 19-year-olds. God, we ask for your mercy. Lord, we set our eyes on you. Lord, we do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. The battle belongs to the Lord. The battle belongs to the Lord. Lord, we lift out those kidnapped and we cry out for shalom of a supernatural source, God, on children and women and elderly. God, we ask for you to come and bring your presence in the midst of darkness, your glory in the midst of trouble. Lord, we're asking today, Lord, that you would allow, that you would come. Let the lion of the tribe of Judah roar. Let there be a fierceness, Lord, with the roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah as you roar over your people, over, as you roar over this situation. Lord, break forth. Break forth, O mighty man of war. You are our bridegroom. You are our judge. And you come, Lord, with righteousness and mercy. We appeal. We thank you for your righteous right arm. We thank you for the release of the lion of the tribe of Judah's roar. Father, break forth. Yeshua, break forth. Let there be a great awakening. Let the hearts that are trembling with fear, let them tremble with your presence. Let them tremble with your fire upon them, God. Let them lift their gaze. God, we even, I want to pray for a day of prayer in Israel, that they would raise up a day of prayer like the king of England in the Second World War. Raise up a praying people, God. Raise the gaze, Lord. Raise their gaze. Release the sound of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Let there be great deliverance. Break forth. Break forth. Break forth, oh lover warrior. Break forth. We ask in the name of Jesus. Let worship break forth. Concern your firstborn son. All that is in your heart. Abba. We cry. Perfect the things that concern your son. Perfect the things that concern your firstborn son. Abba. Abba. We cry. Perfect the things that concern your son. Perfect the things that concern your firstborn son. Concern your son, prevent the things that concern your firstborn son, Abba. Perfect the things that concern your son, perfect the things that concern your firstborn son, Abba. Perfect the things that concern your son, perfect the things that concern your firstborn son.
verse 17, this turning point prayer between judgment coming and the spirit being poured out. This God ordained prayer. Let the priests who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord. Do not give your heritage to reproach that the nations should rule over them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Father, I ask you for an immediate call out to the priests, the new covenant priesthood, the kingdom of priests, the believers throughout the nations to immediately access the place they've been given of intercession. Those who minister to the Lord, we send the call out in agreement with your word. This is what will change things. Tears. I ask for the release of tears. Those who minister to the Lord, the musicians, the singers, the intercessors, those who call on the name of the Lord daily. I ask for a revelation of your heart and accessing of the heart of God right now. I ask for an awakening to true intercession, the weeping and the tears, that they would access your very heart in this hour. You do not desire that any should perish, but that all should come to the saving knowledge of God. And so God, we appeal to you, release tears, release tears, this, this access to your very heart, to the closest place in you that we would not boast in theologies in this hour, that we would not to pretend to know what you're doing, that we would not fear the enemy, but we would fear the living God, that we would call on the name of the Lord. Father, I ask you for a great move throughout the earth right now. Immediately summon the priests who minister between the porch and the altar, the priests who minister to your very heart. Lord, summon the priests let a great cry go up from earth to heaven. Awaken, we say, awaken the nations, the believers in God, those who name the name of the Lord God, Yahweh, those who name his name as their God. Lord, summon them immediately, Lord. Give them access to your heart that they would do what they cannot do, weep that they would access the very yearnings of your heart in this hour. Oh, Lord God of heaven and earth, release tears among the people of God. Touch the hearts of the sons of Zion. Spare your people, Jew and Arab, spare your people. 
Spare the, all those who name the name of the Lord. Spare those who would yet name your name. We say spare. Mercy. Mercy, oh God. Mercy. We call to you, God. Mercy. Mercy. Mercy in Israel. Mercy in Gaza.
tribe of Judah I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of
victorious the lion reigns victorious the lion reigns victorious the lion of the tribe of judah the lion reigns victorious the lion reigns victorious the lion reigns victorious oh the lion of the tribe of judah the lion reigns victorious the lion reigns victorious the lion reigns victorious
before you with fear and trembling but confident that you know us as we pray knowing that you move at the sound of our voices so we come and pray for Israel praying from Psalm 130 and Isaiah 64 out of the depths O Lord we cry to you would you hear our voices let your ears be attentive to the cry for mercy we know that if you, Lord, kept the record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But we also know that there is forgiveness with you so that we with reverence can serve you. We wait for you, Lord, and in your word, we put our hope. We wait for you more than the watchmen wait for morning. And we declare, Israel, put your hope in the Lord. For with the Lord is unfailing love, and with Him is full redemption. He Himself will redeem you, Israel. Father of glory, we come before you and we ask you, would you have mercy on your people? Would you come, open the heavens, rend the heavens and come down? Have mercy on your people in Israel, the Jews and the Arabs all together. We ask you that you would open their eyes to see you clearly. Would you give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your son? Would you glorify your son even in this hour? As many things are going wrong, would you glorify your son, the one who comes to bring peace? The one who draws close to the brokenhearted. Father, we ask you, would you draw close to the broken, to the poor and needy, those who are crushed in spirit. Would you draw close to them? Let them find a, a hiding place in you. Father, would you reveal yourself as their refuge and fortress, even in this hour, as many are sleeping on the streets, have nowhere to go, have no food. Father, would you provide for them? You are Jehovah Chira, the provider, the one who sees and who cares. So Father, we ask you, would you not turn your face away from your people today? But would you look upon them and have mercy? Let them know that you see them. And would you answer them? Would you answer our prayers as we cry out on behalf of your people? Would you answer from your holy habitation? Lord, have mercy. Have mercy in this hour. 
Would you come and make the wrong things right? Would you come and establish justice in Israel today, in this hour? Would you protect your people? So Father, we ask you, would you come and have your way? Draw close to your people. Draw close to the ones who are suffering. Let them know that you have not forgotten them, but that your eyes are on them and that you will fulfill the promises that you have prophesied long time ago through all the prophets. You are a God full of mercy and compassion and you are faithful to your word. So we ask you in the name of Jesus, have mercy on your people. Compassion toward the people you've made. Show compassion. Hear the cry of your people, Lord. Don't have look mercy. away. Lord, have mercy. Look at them through your blood, oh Jesus. Remind them who you are. Remind them who you are. Would you have mercy? 
you break in with light. Father, come and have your way in Israel. We declare peace even right now. We speak comfort to your people. And peace, let peace reside in the walls of Israel. Would you be their covering? Oh, the ones who are fleeing, the ones who don't know where to go, would you be their covering? seven seals and I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the scroll and to break its seals no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll and look into it and I began to weep loudly because there was no one who was found worthy to open the scroll one of the elders told me, stop weeping. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has triumphed. He is worthy to open the scroll and its seven seals. And in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and of the elders, I saw a lamb standing as having been slain with seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Father, we look at the hour we find ourselves in. We look at the hand of history and what you've done. And in this room, we declare the Lamb of God is worthy to take the scrolls to take the seals and open them. 
we ask you, Jesus, that you would declare your sovereign hand over the church in this hour, that you would position her to be your witness in the earth in the time of shaking. Father, we ask you, as we've asked so many times, would you give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you? We declare that you are the stability of our times. And we declare that you are worthy to author the train of history in this hour. And we declare before you that we trust you. You are the one leading this. You are the one bringing it forward. And we honor you above all else. Only you are worthy to receive glory and honor. Praise that every nation, tribe, and tongue should worship you. And we know the deliverer will come out of Zion and turn away all evil from Jacob. So Father, we ask you, give the lamb the reward of his suffering. Father, we ask you, prepare the church to agree with him and his intercession in this hour. And we ask you, Lord, that you would give us hearts of friends of the bridegroom who would agree with you in the face of great accusation coming forth. So, Lord, we bless your name and we declare you are the lamb who is worthy. And in the midst of everything we see, we ask, we cry out with the Spirit, even so come. Would you still come? In Jesus' name I pray. want to take a moment and pray for you and then uh, when we're done we're going to transition over to the rep rich where we're going to continue our prayer meetings there so i want to pray for you out of numbers chapter six the uh the blessing of aaron that the lord would bless you that the lord would keep you lord i ask you lord that you would release father the full operation lord of the holy spirit Father, I ask you, Lord, for the help of the Lord and the assistance of the Lord, Father, to touch every area of our lives. Father, I ask you, Lord, Lord, that you would keep us. Lord, I pray for your divine protection. Lord, the protection, Father, of our bodies, of our hearts, our minds, our family. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would cause your face to shine. Lord, I pray, Lord, for the brightness of your glory, the revelation, Father, of your Son, or to touch our hearts, to touch our minds. 
Father, Psalm 16, Lord, that you would cause our hearts to instruct us in the night. Father, even in this hour in which we're living, Father, I ask you, Lord, for increased measures of revelation and the counsel of the Lord. And the Lord be gracious to you. Father, I ask you, Lord, for the tenderness of the Lord. What I pray, Lord, for even areas, Father, where we may be stuck and need help, Lord, I ask you for the power of the Holy Spirit, what to bring freedom and to bring strength, to bring increased tenderness, Lord, that increased willing spirit, Father, to yield to you more fully. Lord, you'd be tender to us, tender with us, Lord, in your dealings. But I pray that you would lift up your countenance. Lord, I pray, Lord, that there will be the real sense of your manifest presence, your favor. Lord, I speak favor. I speak grace, 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 grace and mercy. The love of God, Father, over all that your people, Father, hold dear before you. Lord, you would give peace. Lord, I pray for the shalom of God. Father, I pray, Lord, for the wholeness of the Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would bring healing where there's brokenness. Lord, I pray that you would bring restoration, Father, where things are torn apart. Lord, I pray you'd bring reconciliation where there's disunity and discord. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you'd bring wholeness, Father, even in the physical body, Father, where there's sickness. Father, I pray, Lord, that you would provide every need according to the wealth and the glory of your holy heart. Lord, the wholeness of the Lord, the shalom of God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.
his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn